Hello everybody, welcome back to our Assassin's Creed Ball Hall Up playthrough. This is episode 165, or 64, sorry. Um, last time we held the Shire Moot, which we chose, um, here, let's go over here. So we gotta go here to the Leia Hunold. Um, Bishop Herefrith has, um, fled to Anacastra. Um, we, we chose Alfgar as the new, uh, Elderman over Hunwald, but yeah, as you can see, um, Herefith was the, uh, Crozier. Hytham had information on him as the Crozier. Was it the Vellum, maybe? No, that was the Baldric. Um, the Baldric Junta Senna Junta, uh, Leofgafu, and then who was the other one? There was one other person somewhere. It wasn't the Lathe, Havelock. I don't know, I think it might have just been those four. But I could have sworn it was, um, was it Gunilla? No, it wasn't the Adzi. It wasn't the Dart. It wasn't the Anvil. Um, not really sure. I think it was just the Crozier then. No, it was the uh, Tang, I think. It was Wigmund, I think, who we got information on. Obviously, all of them have fallen in short order. And today it's time for the Crozier to fall as well. So let's go speak to, um... The Alfgar. And then after, um, uh, hopefully Hunwald isn't going to be too upset with us. Uh, I do think Alfgar is the better alderman, but I do think the only person who wouldn't have accepted Hunwald's, the decision to choose Hunwald would have been, um, would have been, uh, Herifith, obviously. I do think that Alfgar would have been upset, but willing to accept our decision. So yeah, let's continue on. We are obviously strong enough, power, uh, power level 200 to be exact, um, to go do the Frankia DLC. Um, I believe, yeah, I believe we're power level 200 exactly. Yeah, we're no, we're power level 198. So we're not quite the suggested level for the Frankia DLC. Jeez, I had to hiccup there, sorry. Um, but pretty soon we will be able to. Uh, or we will be strong enough. And when that happens... We will be ready to go. Now, um, this is the p next part of the main story. Um, I'd say it's probably a bit of a side, bit of a side part of the main story. It's not as important as Suffolk, uh, say Suffolk, but it definitely is important. And um, I think that after this. Um, Yorvik will open up. So it's definitely worth it to come here and get this stuff going. Ooh, a new fast travel point. Let's go. Kind of makes one that got worthless, though, but oh well. Let's go speak with Alfgar. I hope that, um, Hunwald's not too mad with us. Such carnage I've never seen. That twisted bishop must pay the devil his due. What Agreed. news? We have learned that Herefrith occupies a fort at Anacastra, south of here. An eager fear awaits my voice to lead him into battle. Will you ride with us? I've got Let's some days go. without a proper siege. Lead on. To the camp then, and onward to Anacasta. Follow, if you will. Alright, so let's follow Alfgar, but first of all, I do want to meditate to make it nighttime, because I want to have a day assault. You need to move. Herebrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Perifrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ yep. was an interesting man, if a little soft. But stranger still, I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The den of battle beckons. 
And Crozier. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be vittles before long. How that much Asher I agree with. All this? She and Herivrit were so close. She must fail as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. The poor lady. We spoke briefly. Her spirits were low, but her work carried on. I think she'll be fine. Manipulated by a man who should be God's gladdener. But he's a member of the order. Try to remember it. When the fear is ready, we'll attack with speed. The sooner the better. Hedefrith will entrench deeper with every passing hour. Let's speak to Our this guy. Has arrived. The fears are ready to fight. Begin the assault. Chief to neighbor. Can we win this battle with a small number you see assembled here? If they fight as strongly as they smell, we'll claim victory. <laughs> then we'll have no cause for worry. We should attack soon, before the bishop can muster more troops. What do you think, Eivor? We attack now. Begin the Ready the field. Our this should be an easy to war. Then we deal with the troops inside. Okay, so here we go. The reason why I did want it to be a I wanted to start the stuff at night. Ooh, it's a Norse soldier with a cross. Looks like we got some Christians among our clan's ranks. Looks like it's going to be a Norse and Saxon force united, at least. So, yeah, that's why I wanted to do... I wanted it to be a day battle. So here comes the assault on Anacastabay. So we gotta get a ram through the gate. So, I think that Letter Chestershire... Okay, so we're gonna have to push through, I think, two Let gates. The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along. So, I don't think there'll be oil cauldrons, but if there are, then I'm going to break ranks and go take them out. Oil is the most dangerous thing to this. Spring walls aren't nearly as deadly. Caster. Oh, this is gonna be a pitiful. I guess this is not gonna be a hard assault to do. Like, if this is the max that they can throw at us, just a pitiful amount of arrows, this would be a slaughter. It's a big slaughter. This is really reminding me of Suffolk, except not nearly as bad. Oh, I was trying to do. So yeah. So just a quick reminder: these forces are all um, order members, so it's not like we're fighting Christmas. Oh, they're coming. Few people hang from there. It's pretty brutal. This place is a place of suffering for sure. Nice work, dude. Ooh, I like my job. Or I could try my way, which is climb over. All right, let's quickly take care of or take command of this. Cover me, dude, and I will clear out these order members. They're just gonna keep pushing the wall. I think the best thing to do is to sabotage this. Oh, 
Anything I can grab on this side. Yep, oil. That'll destroy the power side. No, this isn't a bad sized fort. I just took its size for sure. Go on the other side to get the other link. That was a nice whistling sound. Trade up. I want to be one of the first to cross the drawbridge. I'll be one of the first few. Obviously, there'll be some kind of counterattacking force. Find and assassinate the bishop. Point me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He he's he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scabrous coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. Alright, uh, this guy's fine. Definitely put his colors up. Graveyard here. Dang it, one of these. I need to cut down the two reinforcement. Alright, let's see, where can we get in this church from? Because that's what this is about, gaining access. This isn't a bad, for badly fortified church, I'll give them credit. Builders weren't idiots. Get in. How are there so many of them? There's a key there. But I don't think a key is the answer. There's got to be like a window of some kind.
Okay, so these may not all be order members. Their leader certainly is. Well, there he is. Will I, though? Right through the neck. Let's see what he has to say for himself. As Bishop Hedrick is down. Let's see what the cutscene's about. But this is the end of the assault. I died the day I hid behind these robes. This cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Hiravrid. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. We should have learned to enjoy it. There's Hiravrith down. So that's the battle, by extension. The assault is complete on Anacast today. And so next episode, we're going to report back to Ron V. I'm not going to make another pledge. Note taken from the Crozier, order clues in an order of the ancient medallion. Okay, so it looks like we got a clue on... Um, on the vice, or not the vice, the liar. Nothing on the lathe or this person there. Lyle wears an olive garment with a pale linen, linen cloak. Owner of his elevation to magister, some few of us have bestowed upon the liar a fine garment dyed olive to match his eyes. Tang insisted on adding a pale cloak made of the finest linen from the Western Isle. The Tang is Wigmund, who is now dead. So, a sword shower. Okay, speak to Alfgar. Oh, we only need three more, and then we can give him to hype him. So, three more which will get in your Vic. Oh wow, the door is no longer barred. How nice. Oh, he's over here. This area is under our control now. I wonder if... Oh, he's sitting there. I wonder if we'll see, um... See our friend Hodenwald. Looks like a fallen Roman statue. As one possessed by a demon today. Herifrid may yet have allies in Mercia, members of his secret order, but the immediate danger is past. You have my deepest thanks, Eivor. To you I owe all my future happiness and prosperity. You are the new Alderman. You are fit for this role. Take a good Hunwald. You're a good fit for Elderman, Elfgard. Just make sure you put the Shire's needs above your own. Of course. I'd not be the man I am today without this land, these people. He... he is... as I said before... It's a shame Hunwald was not fit to don his father's boots. But he can bring joy to the people here. Treat him well. Yes, about that. I believe a somewhat different idea of his future. You should talk to him. About? Until next we meet, Eivor. The strength of Lincolnshire is yours, should you need it. Feeling he doesn't want to spoil the surprise. Let's go speak to Hunwald. Now, I do want to say, real, real importantly here, um, I think uh, the big thing is Alfgard... We are bonded now. Your people and mine. I have found better friends in Danes, to be honest. Swanborough is my love, and you are a better friend to me than any here. That's nice. I'm glad he isn't too upset with us. Oh, look, he's wearing his father's... Would be in position to ask... Well, could we live with your clan? Swanborough and I. It would mean so much to her. And to me. Listen right here, buddy. Of course you may. We'd be happy to host you, ferocious swan, and your charming dame. <laughs> he says with a grin. Oh yes, uh, I'll pull my weight. I promise, and fight when needs be. And I won't drink more than I'm allotted. <laughs> you fight with us, Winbold, and you can drink as much as you like. Thank you, Eivor. This means 
It means the world to me. This guy is freaking awesome. Here's the thing with Hunwald and Alfgar. The wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. My thing with Hunwald or with Alfgar and um, Hunwald is Hunwald seems more the kind of guy who needs time to become Elderman, and he. I feel like um, it would be good for him to learn under Alfgar. And when Alfgar, um, when Alfgar's time comes. Uh, I'm probably being quite indelicate here, but anyways, when Alfgar's time comes, I think that's probably the best time to put Hunwald as Elderman, even if it is only for a few years. Alright, so this is going to be um, Great Sword and Short Sword will give us power level 200, and then power level 201 will be Way of the Bear. Let's do it! Power level 200. So let's go to the world map. I believe Gloss Beast of Shire will now be, uh, yep below and Snottingham and Winchester are now red so the only place on the map now that is a uh, skull is Hamptonshire which is really kind of disappointing it's really kind of sad reporting on Lin uh, Lincolnshire Bishop Hereford has been defeated and alliance has been forged with the new Elderman and Lincoln returned to Ron V with the news um so yeah this is what our order member or our order menu now looks like as you can see is a bit more red and after we do Jorvik which is going to be after Gorm we'll have a lot more so, I think this is a brilliant spot to episode. All happy. Next episode, we'll go do our, we'll go celebrate the fact we have 10 pledges, double digits. And we'll prepare to uh, mount an expedition to Vinland. Until then.